Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video with your host, Jude Dillon. Happy New Year. It's 2024. It actually didn't really hit me. It was 2024 until like the next day, New Year's Day, when I was like, wait, it's 2024. It's mental. That's wild. I don't really know how long this video is going to be. Probably not very long. Um, probably until my phone falls because I've left my camera stand somewhere. I actually left both my camera stands in two separate places because I'm that dim. So it's kind of balancing on books and a hairbrush, actually. It's just working actually really well. It hasn't fallen over yet. Yet. But I just, I wanted to, I, I don't know really actually the purpose of this. I kind of just wanted to do a little video for the new year. And um, to look back because we've made a lot of progress. And not really in just in the whole of 2023. Really just in the last sort of four months, I'd say, really, was when... I've really started to hammer it a bit more and um, put more stuff out and I've been reaping the rewards a bit, you know? We, we we hit 144 monthly listeners on Spotify and it's only gone down to 135 since and it's now gone back up. I think it's 137 or 139, I don't remember. But point is, um, that's really good and that's literally more or less like four months ago was when I really started that and... That's crazy. That actually really is crazy that we've, we've gone from having, I think, 20 monthly listeners I had to that. And obviously subscribers on YouTube, we're at 639 now, I think, which is, which is mental, which is crazy. And I still get so many nice comments. I barely get any hate comments, um, like, at all, really. And I love you all so very much. I'm really excited for 2024. I have some big plans and I get a good feeling about it. You know, with the amount of growth we've made in just the last four months, you know, what I've been learning and how videos have been getting better, you know, who knows when, where we'll be when we go into 2025. And maybe, maybe it will collapse by then. Maybe it'll all blow up. <laughs> it, it'll blow up in a bad way, not blow up in a good way. Or maybe it'll blow up in a good way. But who knows? I'm not really focusing on that, to be honest. Um, I'm just sort of living now and seeing what I can do to make my stuff better now. But album. I'm going to release an album. I was going to, like, not say anything about it until I announced it. But then I'm like, I don't really have much of a fan base. I'm like, I don't want to be all mysterious when, like, there's barely anyone here anyway. Um, so, yes, please do stick around <laughs> until that's out because I'm really looking forward to the whole process of it, actually. Not, not just the release of it and showing everyone it, although that's a big part of it. Like, the whole project, I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm gonna, it's, it's really going to be a a test for me, you know, can I actually handle this? Is it going to happen? It will happen. Just, is it going to sound like what it sounds like in my head? Do I have the skills to actually put this all together? Because again, I'm actually doing this myself. I have drummer and bassist now, which are great. They're great musicians, but I'm still producing everything myself. And to produce a whole album, Maybe I am overestimating myself, but again, it's not going to be for a long time, um, but do stick around till then. I'm releasing music before that. I have an EP that I'm literally sort of just about to start working on within like maybe next couple weeks. So that should be out soon, hopefully. Um, but the album is, is I'm going to use the EP to sort of promote myself for the album. I'm really proud of the songwriting in it. It's like my best work. I've been saving, I've been saving releasing some stuff because I want to like, I, I want to make it count. I'm really proud of it, and I and I don't, I don't want to just sort of release it into the ether of the internet when there's no one there to look at it. So now we're starting to build up a little bit of a fan base. It's gonna, it's gonna be cool. But anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. I hope you all had a good New Year's and stayed safe. I had a good New Year's. I was in Glasgow. Um, I don't really know. I haven't looked at like the sort of demographics of my account in quite a while actually but if there's anyone from Scotland then it was great and Scottish people are great and I loved it I'm also looking to play live more as well um, going into 2024 by summer I want to be getting a lot of gigs like, at least a lot that's very vague but I want to, I want to be getting gigs I want to be gigging um, but I suppose that's kind of irrelevant for here because you know that's the kind of downside with with promoting yourself on social media because my fan base is the whole, it's just people dotted around the world, you know. Like if I have a gig, then people over in Canada aren't gonna pop over. So 2024, big plans, um, which hopefully will go well and hopefully gigging more. And yeah, 
that's it. 2023 was good. At least like the last little bit was when I really started to, you know, push myself a lot more. Um, so yeah, thank you all for all the support you give and all the nice things you say and the whole lot. Like, thank you all. Um, gonna go back to voting for Cover Friday next week. I knew that I, well, I didn't do that this week because um, I got back from a flight literally yesterday and they usually do it on Sunday or Monday and I just like didn't get around to it because I was away. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> next week um, we'll go back to that. And yeah, hopefully more YouTube videos. I know I keep saying that. I know I keep saying that. But hopefully more. So yeah, take care of yourselves. And um, stick around. 2024. It's going to be good. I promise. Pinky promise. It's going to be great.